This is Woody. Now when I'm not making tapes about how to take care of your indoor plants, then I'm actually taking care of plants with Woody, who is one of my co-workers, and he can grow some wonderful plants himself, and he's brought a few to share with us today. Now what have you got for us, Woody? Well today I brought some Rex begonias. Um, these are grown for their foliage. It comes in shades of pink and purple and, and green. And, uh, these are really wonderful, just really unique foliage. And how do you, how do you keep them at home? I've got them growing under a fluorescent light, just a shop light, um, to say about 12 inches under that, and I keep it going for about 12 hours a day. It's on a timer, so I don't have to worry about turning it on and off every day. Oh, that's great. So the 12 hours of fluorescent light every day mm -hmm. is plenty to keep this nice foliage going, obviously. And I always love to ask people this with their plants, how do you know how to water your plant? Well, in the case of the begonias here, when the uh, soil surface gets dry, that's the time to water them. When it catches it before, just before they start to wilt. Oh, you, oh, okay, so when the soil, the top of the soil the surface is dry, dry that's, that's time to water. And that works for this. And mm -hmm. about how much water do you know, do you give um, to these plants? These are in six inch pots. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably a couple of cups. I have them on plastic trays uh, with uh, gravel so that I can water, don't have to worry about overwatering. Uh -huh. um, it just runs through. Well, they are truly gorgeous. I know you know what you're doing. And you do fertilize them occasionally? Yeah, probably about once a month. I give them just a balanced fertilizer 20, 20, 20. Uh -huh. How did you get these plants? I don't see these very often. So how did you come upon them? Actually, a couple of these. Um, I have to be walking by a dumpster one day and um, <laughs> There were a couple of wilted plants in there. That's what these were. And, um, You're kidding. I thought, they were, I thought they could be saved, so I took them home and uh, watered them, and sure enough, they, uh, they came back. So you brought us some more begonias? Right. I have a couple of angel wing begonias, and they're called angel wings just because of the shapes of the leaves. Um, this kind is Lois Burke, and this one is Begonia richmondensis. Uh-huh. Now I see Lois Burke here has speckles on her leaves. <laughs> right, that's normal. It's not a disease or a pest. Uh, it's just normal variegation for this variety. And these orange flowers are so vibrant. You must keep it in a lot of sun. For the summer, I've moved it outside to the uh, porch, and it gets about three or four hours of sun out there. Well, that would do it. <laughs> now, in the fall, do you bring it in and put it in a sunny window? Right, I have a, a window that uh, gets sun most of the day, and, and um, they need that in the wintertime when the, when the sun's not as strong. Well, these are truly beautiful little flowers on this plant. Now, the Richmondensis here, it also has flowers. They're sort of a coral or mm -hmm. peachy and white plant. Now, how often will they bloom like this? Um, this is the first year I've had them, so um, hopefully they'll bloom most of the summer. Uh huh. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I guess so. I said, now, do you keep this one else outside right now right, this also? Also stays outside on the porch. But it can also come inside mm -hmm. in the fall. Now, how did you pick these two plants? Um, I just like the color of the flowers, and I um, thought the variegation on this one was interesting. So uh, They really are very nice. So, Woody, how long have you been growing plants on your own at home? For quite a while. Um, my, my grandmother got me started on plants back when I was uh, probably like 12 years old, and uh, I picked the interest up from her. Uh, what did she start you out with? Do you remember? Oh, probably some African violet leaves that I took home to root, or... Uh -huh. uh, just begonia cuttings, things like that. Oh, that's great. And how old were you now? You, it's, it's been a few years <laughs> anyway since you started right. this. Huh? <laughs> now, why did you pick these? I know you have several great looking plants at home. So why did you pick the begonias to bring into us today? Um, I just thought they were a little unusual. Um, I like the color. Um, so They are truly showy. Good for television, huh? <laughs> Well, it's clear you are a plant lover, and that's really what I wanted to do today is have men on who really appreciate plants, and I know you are one of them, and I appreciate you being here. So would you tell us once again the names of the plants you brought in? Sure. Um, these are Rex begonias, um, just different colors, greens and purples and pinks, and then these are angel wing begonias. Um, this is Begonia richmondensis, and uh, this is Lois Burke. Well, they are truly lovely, and you should be proud of yourself. You did a great job with these. So thanks again. Hey, thank you.